نؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظه من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمه للمؤمنين قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما يجمعون صدق الله وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ديستينغويش علماء ديير ستودنتس اند ماي ديير ريسبكتد برادرز ان اسلام First of all I would like to make a dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> Our sitting here and gathering make it for your good pleasure with plenty of ikhlas and sincerity And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who are here bless them here in this world and also in the hereafter my dear respected brothers when we call our friends somewhere in any state or any area that we are planning to come to the area and to go and meet the brothers and to say a few words in the light of quran and sunnah for the sake of allah So, Maudiratan, with due apology, some of them they think that Mulla is not going anywhere, but he has a purpose or agenda. So, some of them they do ask us any donation for madrasa or for masjid. We say, brother, no. we are coming we will stay on our own somewhere and uh, your only duty will be to show us a good place to eat <laughs> so they said that that will be way too much we will arrange that so we say okay jazakumullah khair wa barakallahu feekum and especially in sacramento area if nobody is ready to give us food so we say that al rahman is there <laughs> so he will arrange that my dear respected brothers for the last almost 2 year we have not done it otherwise every year we used to come here to the area of san francisco staying on our own and the brothers here they were taking us here and there to different masajid and uh, to have a dars and to give a bayan or sometime we used to go to the east coast to the brothers there going to different madrasas or to different masajid for the set purpose mawlana mufti zainul abidin sahab rahmatullahi alaihi once he said that on the day of judgment i am not a alim i am referring to ulama that a alim would be asked by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that i have blessed you with the knowledge of quran and sunnah what you have done in this regard la in shakartum la azidannakum 
That was a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being done to you. That was a favor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. How you paid the shukr of that ni'mah. And shukr doesn't mean that orally or verbally you are saying, Alhamdulillah. It will not make a case. Look, in Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is relating the story of Dawood and Sulaiman alayhi wa salawat wa salam. Allah says, يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبَ وَتَمَاثِيلَ وَجِفَانٍ كَالْجَوَابِ وَقُدُورِ الْرَاسِيَاتِ The jinnat were subjugated to them. They were doing everything. What Sulaiman used to order them and what Dawood alayhi salatu wa salam used to order them. Min maharib, the plural of mehrab. And mehrab is arch type high rise buildings. Got it? That's why the mehrab of Mati is called mehrab, because they're arch type. But mehrab, literal meaning is a building which is standing on arches. And as you know that the arch structure is the strongest structure. Is it or not? Why? Because the gravitation is not pulling it at the same level. As it is crooked like this, so here the gravitation is pulling it, but that area is not pulled to the same extent, so that's why it is not falling down very easily. Got it? Yeah. The weight is distributed. The weight is distributed. So my dear respected brothers, يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبُ وَتَمَاسِيلُ The plural of Timthal. So the masil are tasawir. They, they, so what type of tasawir was? Some ulama says of non-living entities. But some other ulama, they are of the view that living entities as well. Because there are certain things which are prohibited in one sharia but not in the other. يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبُ But nowadays, tasawir is not a prohibited thing. Because mullah is not going away from camera here and here. All the mullahs are sitting day and night in front of cameras. Yes, in a lone and alone room, having nobody listening to him and he is yeah, he's doing his shu'la bayani. And when I listen to some of them, I think what they are saying. What type of services they are giving to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only creating fitnas? Fitnas are little in this world that we are adding more fitnas to those fitnas. My dear respected brother in Islam, you have seen on the internet, internet is a bala. You call it social media, I call it gutter media. <laughs> so this gutter media is spreading filth everywhere. It does or not? Yes. Say, yes. filth is more or good stuff is more? Filth is more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. But that's not in our control. You cannot stop the technology. The only thing is, as Olatif Saab was referring to, to take care of our kids. What to see and what not to see. What to watch and what not to watch. So anyhow, my dear respected brothers, يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبَ وَتَمَاثِيلِ And also in my fifth book, I have written that Mughira ibn Shu'ba and Abdurrahman ibn Awf radiyallahu ta'ala al-Qazi ibn Yusuf relates from Imam Abu Hanif al-Amatullahi alayhi that they had they are ring, and both of them, they have the two lines of picture they are in. So that's why some fuqai Hanafiya, they are of the view that the picture is only makru and not haram. That is a fiqh issue. I'm not discussing it. I'm telling you only that, the, yes, the, 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 the field. So anyhow, the Ahmad Basir is sitting here. He said that is halal 100%. <laughs> so yamaluna lahu ma yashaw min mahari wa tamathil. وَجِفَانٍ in Kaljawab. Jifan is Jafna. And Jafna is a big part. Wajifan in Kaljawab. So that Jafna was such big like as your reservoir, or like as your pond, or like as your swimming pool. Wajifan in Kaljawab, the plural of Jabiya. Wakuduri Rasiya. And the Degs, you know the Deg. <laughs> Yes, as many days. Yes, of 120 month rice is cooking therein. Wajifan in Kaljawab, Wakudur in Rasiyat, 
and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says i'malu ala dawud shukra Allah didn't say ushkuru lillah ya ala dawud let's say shukr to Allah and say alhamdulillah Allah says i'malu practice shukr so what is shukr i defined it my friends are here i told them in dars that shukr is al amalu wafqa ata illah whatever ata and favor allah has done to you what is your practice in this regard if somebody is healthy to what extent he use his health for the sake of allah if somebody is wealthy to what extent he use his wealth for the sake of allah if somebody is a alim to what extent he use his skill or wisdom for the sake of allah subhan so only alhamdulillah will not work i'malu ala daud shukra and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa qalilu min ibadi shukra so which which and which name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will count we cannot allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa sakhkhara lakum ma fi samawati wal ard he has subjugated to you whatever is there in the heaven and whatever is there on earth wa sakhkhara lakum ash shams wal qamar la ilayhi another concept of subjugation is that the sun is giving you the energy and the light both and the moon is doing the same wa sakhkhara lakum al anhar he subjugated to you the rivers and the sea and the oceans your boating is taking place they are shipping there in number 1 your irrigation system is there from your rivers you are drinking their farm you are alive because that of because of that water awala bi alladhina kafaru an samawati wal arz kanata ratqan fa fataqnahuma wa ja'alna min al ma'i kull shay'in hayy afala yu'minu got it why i change it home there's called at taswir al fani fi al quran at taswir al fani fi al quran but the old term in usul al fiqh is dalalatu hal al mutakallim ah in modern term we call it the body language we got it right Body. the body language because body language totally change the meaning and the mafhum and the sense as well for example i say what is this so i'm questioning you that what is this you have to define it yes if the brother are talking there to one another i am speaking as well and i am looking for their attention and focusing yes so showing a little bit of my attitude i am using the same word but i say kya hai Now look, yes. Let me take up my glasses so that you will see. Yeah. Hai. So they will pick up the bottom line. If I will look at a handsome person like Abdul Rahman, for example, he is handsome, <laughs> or maybe he was. Also, I think I used to be. Okay. So anyhow, so when I saw him for the first time, and I got amazed with him being handsome, so I said. <laughs> so now look one and the same word kiya hai three different meaning it is not so that is called dalalatu hal mutkal or that is called tasvir al fani fi al quran or that is called the body language so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says awalam yaral ladina kafaru anna samawati wal arda kana taraqan the disbelief you would have not thought about lam yara this ruya is ruya qalbi not ruya basari So that's in the meaning of the alam. Awalam yaqul bil ladina kafaru because this kufar of Mujal Khadis was not there when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala established this world. Abu Lahab was not there. Firaun and Namrud, nobody was there when Allah was establishing this world. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, Awalam yaqul bil ladina kafaru. Eh, awalam yaqul bil ladina kafaru. The disbelievers do not know, or they did not know. And the samawati wal arz kana taqatkan. that the heavens and the earth they were clapped together like this fa fataqna huma and fataq is when split them asunder we blasted them a big blast took place the scientists say the big bang so the big bang is mentioned there in surah al-anbiya fa fataqna huma fataq and rataq two opposites kana ta rataqan fa fataqna huma they are passed to one another attack to one another fa fataqna huma we blasted and separated them and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ja'alna min al-ma'i kullu shay'in hayy after that blast allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he makes oxygen with hydrogen and the water happened here how much time it took 
the scientists, they have given the detail. I have written a book, Science and Islam. So there I have given the details. Yes, that's what the scientists said in this regard. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ And جَعَلْ That is Basir. Or Mu'allaf. Yes, the proper term is Mu'allaf. Yes, so that is Basir. Or that is Mu'allaf. If that is Basir, that will be in the meaning of Khalaqah. And if that is Mu'allaf, that will be in the meaning of Sayyara. What? Sayyara. So here that is Basir. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ not sayyarna min al-ma'i kulla shayin hai. Because then the existence of everything will be prior to what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, no. وَجَعَلْنَا مِن الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْنِ حَيْ We have to go in depth in Quran. In every single word, we have to penetrate inside. وَجَعَلْنَا مِن الْمَاءِ Then you will find out that this is actually the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody else can say like this. وَجَعَلْنَا مِن الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْنِ حَيْ And we have created Every high thing, every living entity from water. The plants are grown from where? Water. water. The insects? Water. The birds? Water. The animals? Water. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, think about this process. I have mentioned in brief and in a summarized way. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says like this, Afala yu'minun. funny, body language. Afala yu'minun. Still the people will not believe in Allah. Does it make sense? So we say this is shakwa from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Usul Tafsir what we call it? Shakwa. shakwa. That Allah is complaining about him and that what is wrong with them? That they do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says, وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ الْأَنْهَارِ وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمُ الْفُلْكَ لِتَجْرِيَ فِي الْبَحْرِ بِأَمْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you have seen these big ships there in San Francisco. Every ship from far, it is look like a mountain. Got it? Tajri fil bahri, kal a'alam. Tajri fil bahri, kal a'alam. Eh, kal jibat al-dakhma. Not kal jibat, kal jibat al-dakhma. Because alam is plague, our alam is a sign which has to be seen from very far. So a tall mountain is seen from far. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَسَكَّرَ لَكُمُ الْفُلْكَ لِتَجْرِيَ فِي الْبَحْرِ بِأَمْرِ That Allah has subjugated to you the ocean and the sea. And Allah has subjugated to you the ships and the boats. So they are sailing there. They are sailing there in the water with the view of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, you will throw a small needle there in the water. It drowns. And a big ship with the, uh, thousands and thousands of tons weight, it said, that's not because of engine. Yes, a small answer as a joke, in this regard, your name is? Shahid. Shahid, Brother Shahid. So a small joke in this regard is <coughs> that a student was asked by the Muntahin and the examiner. They tell me why a small needle sinks in the water drowns in the water and a big ship does not. So he said, because the needle does not know how to swim mm. and the ship knows how to swim. <laughs> so this is not the case of swim. The scientific reason is that when the weight of the thing over the surface of the water is light, then the weight of the water to the extent of that thing. Mm. Got it? So then it does not sink. God. But all these are rules of physics. All these are what? Rules of physics. And we as a Muslim, we do not believe in rules of physics that much as we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unfortunately, nowadays we are that much influenced by science and physics that we have suspended Allah totally. People do believe in science more than Allah. People do believe in aql more than naql. And that is ilhaad. And that is tazanduk. Even though, if you are talking about miracles of the prophets, sure. so such like influence the people, they pose a question, is it possible? Is it possible? possible? Why? Because they are influenced by science and by rules of physics. That rules of physics say other way around. Mm -hmm. 
So how it is possible? So we say, brother, don't subjugate a mother to the daughter, or son to the father, or creator to the creature. <laughs> Rules of physics and physical world, matter and material world, that the creation of whom? Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now Allah is the source of the whole world. You can subjugate Allah to this process. You can subjugate Allah to the rules of physics. Does it make sense? So then I give them example. Brother Shahid, I give them example. Wait. We have two types of kingship in this world. Put democracy on side. I'm talking about kingship. the kingship. So we have two types of kingship. Once in law, we call it absolute monarchy. We are the mouth and the tongue and the word of the king. That is law and that is everything. You cannot take the word of king to any court in the, city, in the country concerned. And then there is democratic kingship. Mm -hmm. So for example, in Arabian countries, there are kingship that is absolute monarchy. <coughs> yes, but in Britain, and in Spain, in Malaysia, that is democratic. That's only symbolic. The king and the queen is only symbolic. symbolic. They don't have any power. Yes, they are signing the paper only. Otherwise, the parliament is supreme and sovereign. So anyhow, but the rules are duly promulgated with the signature of the queen. So now any rule and law which is promulgated and implemented here in Britain, you cannot subjugate the queen to that law because she is the source. So I said that this is regarding this worldly process, how you can subjugate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his own physics or his own creature. Got it? Yeah. That's why I wrote a book, The Prophets and the Miracles, the prophets yeah. and the miracles. Because nowadays we have this fitna. Yeah. Not only here, in Muslim countries as well. Because when I go back to Pakistan, Tariq Jan was with me. We were going to different uh, universities and to different colleges for lecture and for durus. So there, the professor told us that the big problem here is this ihad and tasbih. Because we are teaching the whole day, are learning and studying the whole day these physical sciences are applied sciences. We are that much influenced by those sciences that people are thinking, does God exist? So when I came back, I started a book and I wrote and completed, does God exist? Got it? That is our duty. We have to think about such like issues. How to protect and defend the Iman of Muslims? How to defend the next generation? Not only here. Old Latif Sahib was saying that Morabed Rahman Sahib was thinking of us that what will happen to this is not the case of America anymore or Western world. This is the case of Pakistan as well. This is the case of every Muslim country as well. Because now the world is global village. Mm -hmm. Yes? yes? What happened here? It has its effects there. What happened there? It's you know Dr. Martin Luther King? Yes. Our friend. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Good guy, nice man. Yes. The one who got the place released from the clutches of slavery. Mm -hmm. Yes or not? Yes. Big sacrifice. You cannot imagine. People are giving sacrifices for such like things. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. And he said that I, I have a dream. <laughs> and I said that the moment he dreamt, you know the whole story. He went to the permanent sleep. A permanent sleep. <laughs> yes. So anyhow, but credit goes to him. The Afro-American, they are considered human because of his sacrifices. Because of sacrifices of Malcolm X, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for certain purposes, he creates people. That's what I was telling them in verse. That look, nowadays, people are standing up. So what they say? Oh. So this thing, this thing, this thing, a decided matter in Sharia. I say, bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> bro. The bro, <laughs> you got a new message. Now you want to judge an issue already being judged by the ulama of Islam. You are opening a gate for more fitness. The moment you will take away the Muslims to have a trust in their Islam, so it means that you are destroying your Iman. Imam Waliullah in his famous book, Hujatullah al and other books as well, he is mentioning 
a term. And that term, sometimes he uses a sunnatul adilah. And sometimes he says a sunnatul musallama. The recognized sunnah. The recognized way. Or the just way. So sometimes he call it just way and sometimes he call it recognized way. So he said that wherever and whenever the recognized way of life in every, any field that has been touched, malefied you. That has been disturbed. So he said that there you cannot stop the disturbance from that area. Disturbance will happen for sure. And such a disturbance that that will create a turmoil, you will not be able to control it later on. Maybe that is worldly practices even. So then I told the brother in thus that there must be recognized ways of life and must be recognized people in life as well. Look, I'm Pashtun. Adur Rahman is Pashtun. Got it? Yes. Every nation has merits and demerits. Yes? No any nation all over the world is good as a whole nor bad as a whole. This stereotype approach is wrong in Sharia. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man da'a ila al-asabiyyati falaysa minna. Wa man qatala ala al-asabiyyati falaysa minna. Wa man mata ala al-asabiyyati falaysa minna. Wa in sama wa salla wa za'ama annahu muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says that whosoever is calling towards a stereotype approach or prejudice based on what? Badr, uh, color. Based on what? Language. Based on what? Complexion. Based on what? Lineage. Based on what? Tribe and sub-tribe. Woman qatala ala al-asabiyya. And one who fought based on asabiyya. Woman mata ala al-asabiyya. And one who died and having this concept of asabiyya, Prophet says he has nothing to do with us. Wa in sama wa salla, even though he was very committed to fasting and to his prayer, wa za'ama annahu muslim. And he thought, and za'am is al awlul fasid, awil fikrul fasid, za'am al ladina kafaru ayy al layu fasu. So he told them in thus that za'am al ladina qalu fasidan, aw i'ata qadu fasidan, because za'am is fasid. So Allah says, or Rasulullah says, mm -hmm. wa in za'ama, wa in sama wa salla wa za'ama annahu muslim. But anyhow, let's go back to the point which I started. This, thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the favor, but it needs practice. If you are not practicing accordingly, yes, Mawli Uzair sir, Mawli Yusuf sir, and sometime back Mawli Ahmad Basir sir. Because he was a Mujahid guy and he still he is Mujahid. But I don't know. Actually, the thing is, his Murshid asked him that Mujahideen. He said, Yes. He said, When I was not married, Allah was providing me for free from somewhere. But the moment I got married, now I am flowing. Hal <laughs> chalana I'm flowing and I'm working hard and when I got the first child labor increased the work <laughs> increased why it is so why it is so do you have any religious base for this change he said of course sir yeah. he said what he said that Sayyidah Maryam when she was virgin still she is virgin that's why they call virgin Mary even though she delivered baby, but in an unnatural way, in a metaphysical way. So that's why nothing happened to his virginity, or to her virginity. Got her not? Mm -hmm. So still she is called what? Virgin, virgin Mary. Virgin. So anyhow, as long as she was virgin, mean before the birth of Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullama dakhala alayha zakariya al-mihrab, wajada indaha isqa. That whenever Zakariya alayhi salatu was salam came to her worship place, Al-Mihrab, that was an arch-type building, yes, in the second story, over the entrance of Baitul Maqdis. Over the entrance of Baitul Maqdis. And she was staying there in. Nobody was allowed to go there in. Later was there in control of Sayyidina Zakariya alayhi salatu was salam because Zakariya alayhi salatu was salam was a mahram for 
Maryam. Why? Because her hala, she was the wife of Zakaria alayhi salatu was salam. Sayyidina Yahya alayhi salam and Sayyidina Maryam, they were first cousins. Got it? They were the son and daughter of hala, two halas. Got it? And that's why metaphorically, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Faizan anabi ibn al-hala. That when I was ascending on the night of attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so in the second heaven I saw Isa and Yahya ibn al-hala. So we say that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used it majazi. Otherwise, they were not ibn al-hala. They were not the two sons of hala because Yahya was the son of the hala of the mother of Isa alayhi salatu wa But, huh? He was Yes, but anyhow, these are the usage of the words. Yes, these are muhawarat. What is it? Muhawarat is like we have the muhawara. That if you want to show your relation to someone, even though you are not related, you are from the same village, so you say he's my cousin. Okay. Yes, there was cousin has such a vast sense that you can call the whole village that they are my cousins. Got it? Yeah. And nobody can object to you. Why you say it's your cousin? His father is not your uncle, nor his mother is your khala, or your amma. Yes? So anyhow, my dear respected brother in Islam. So Sayyidah Maryam, كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا زَكَرِيَ الْبِحْرَابِ وَجَدَ عِنْدَهَا رِزْقَةً So this rizqan, tanweer. Tanweer is for tankir. And tankir is for ajeebar, for nudra. وَجَدَ عِنْدَهَا رِزْقًا عَجِيبًا أَوْ رِزْقًا نَاظِرًا Whenever Zakariya alayhi salatu wa salam came, he saw that this is winter. Cold story at that time was available? No. Say, no. Now you can have the watermelon in winter. Yes? And you can have the orange in summer as well. Because of what? The cold storage. The cold storage, but cold storage was not there. But when Zakariya came, he saw, Watermelon in December and January or orange in June and July. Which is the end of the harvest? So he said, Maryam, where from you are getting it? Women and Allah, that's from Allah, metaphysically. Women and Allah. So Khaja Ajmer, he said, but the moment she delivered the baby, the moment she delivered the baby. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told her through Jibreel, قَدْ جَعَلَ رَبُّكِ تَحْتَكِ سَرِيَّةِ وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِزْعِ النَّخْلَ تُسَاقِطْ عَلَيْكِ رُطَبًا ثَنِيَّةِ That still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be giving you the water. But at that time, you were sitting in your worship place and water was coming to you. Fruit was coming to you without standing for it even. But now, as you got the baby, so now you have to work. Same thing happened to Abdul Rasid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Sheikh Ahmad Basir, he is coming now very rarely. Yes, otherwise sometime back all the way he was coming here from for thirst. Taking thirst there at night and early in the morning coming back. Just how Allah khair and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. So let's go back. اعملوا آل داود شكرا وقليل من عبادي الشكور For what do we have to pay thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? First of all, for Iman. We had one alim passed away, rahimahullah. So once I asked him, we were very tired, and as you know that back home in Pakistan, I was in religious practice as well as I am, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because when I came to America, and I went back the very first year, so there the people, when I was giving my khutbah, so some shits I received, and they were asking me, their call, say, what are you doing here? <laughs> yes, I said that, bro, what I was doing here? <laughs> I am doing the same thing there, but I didn't say it. That I said that, bro, I was very much tired of these speeches and gurus here in Pakistan, so when I went there, I opened a music school. <laughs> so now I am beating drum and playing harmonium. <laughs> what a mullah will do wherever he is. So I was referring to that Mawla Mufti Dhan Labideen Sa. Rahmatullahi Ali. You remember, but you don't. As a Bible. Yes, you do. So, Mawla Mufti Zainal Abideen Sahib in his bayan said that a alim will be asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. <coughs> that I have blessed you with the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah. What you have done in this regard for my good pleasure. So, he will say, Mawla Mawlaji Paraman Sahib, he invited me to Sacramento. So, I went there and I gave a bayan. 
got it. Mm -hmm. Ahmed Basir Saab, he invited me there to Bay Area. I went there and I gave a class. So Mufti Zanabidin Saab said that Allah will say that what you have done for my son. You were invited and you accepted the invitation and you went there. That was an ijabat, kabul, what you have done for myself. So Mufti Zalabidin Sahib said that a alim dares to go on his own to the people. That is the actual sunnah of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was invited by people and he was going there. No. Say, no. or he himself was going there. Was going Who invited him to Taif? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam proactively. Proactively. So this is the duty and the responsibility of ulama. So that what we are trying to do, but people are not used to. So that's why the first question they say, that what is the purpose of their coming? So I say they tell them that food shortage in Los Angeles, <laughs> <laughs> starvation, so that's why they are coming. <laughs> so we are actually making up the mind of people. So anyhow, my dear, you are not tired? No. No, no. no. because I started, yes. <laughs> but they're going on until Bakr prayer. <laughs> yes? Two episodes. One before Asr and the second one? After Asr. So anyhow, but not here. In another Madin where? Madina Center. In Madina Center, inshallah. So anyhow, my dear respected brother, I'm very happy when I came here. Azur Rahman Saab told me last night that Maulitif Saab, where he has put the first program after Zohar prayer, so the brothers, they have bought a church and they have established a madrasa here. And there are students of Quran. Students of Quran. Quran. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala knew the students of Quran. Yes or not? Say loudly. I love so much. Yes. I was telling them that all humans are good. Number one. All Africans are nice people, but I say Somalians are different. Because wherever we go and we see the Somalians, they are very much committed to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are in touch with Hafiz Quran and with Deen as well. Yes or not? Yes. We go to East Coast, so there we see that most of the students they are Somalian. Ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala. Whenever he saw that some students are coming to join the dars of Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala, barefooted <coughs> with naked head, he used to rush to them and he used to say, Marhaban bi zuyufi Rasulillah. Welcome, O the guest of the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qad awsana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bikum khaira. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has ordered us to do good to people who are coming to study Quran and Sunnah. So you are the beloved people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ahlul Quran, Ahlullah. Aw hamalatul Quran, Ahlullah. Those who are serving the book of Allah in one way or the other, they are the family of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If somebody is from the family of our President Joe Biden, how proud he will be. I'm certain of <laughs> Joe Biden. If somebody is from the family of Elon Musk, another virtue. Man, man, yes. He said, Elon Musk is my cousin. Yes, are my family. I'm from the family of Elon Musk. You people are from the family of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Think about that greatness. And in another hadith, as you purchase this beautiful place and turn it to masjid. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith narrated by Imam Bayhaqi, Inna ummar buyutillahi ahlullah. Those who are the ummar of the houses of Allah. So what are the houses of Allah? Masjid. The masajid. Where from we have got the idea? Fi buyutin. Azina allahu an turfa'u wa yuskara fi hasmu. يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ فِيهَا بِالْغُدُوِ وَالْآصَالِ رِجَانٌ لَا تُلْهِيهِمْ تِجَارَةٌ وَلَا بَيْحٌ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ فِي بُيُوتٍ In the houses As in Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered أَنْ تُرْفَعَ أَنْ 
turfa'a imaratan wa ma'nan wa sifatan i told the brothers yes just put these things an turfa'a imaratan wa ma'nan wa sifatan that the masajid their building must be the neat and the clean building in the area that is the requirement of your iman that must be the highest building in the area in one way or the other and that's why the concept of mirror came to the masajid how to make it high rise so you cannot make twin towers everywhere so the only thing is to make it high rise you will put it either the dome or you will put the minaret because allah says azanallah wa turfa and as far as respect is concerned it is there because when we are entering here even though now you bought and purchased your shoes you drove your car straight from the shoe store now your shoe has not touched the ground rather than it touched a filth it has not touched the ground but will you enter to masjid having those neat and clean shoes in your feet and enter into the masjid or you will take it out why that is the respect bi buyutin adna Allah an turfa'a that is the rifat fi buyutin adna Allah an turfa'a wa yuzkar fi hasb and his name is to be mentioned there when no time limit bil khudu wal asha in the morning and in the evening so now in mantiq in lajit which we have dropped from madrasa story the philosophy we dropped it from madrasa story God. So, Mahsur bin al Hasirin, Lahu Hukmul Hasirin. When you mention one side and you mention the other side, in between all these things are mentioned, or that is meant. So Allah said, Bil Qudu wal Hasal. So there is no time limit. Take every gem and support. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that those who prayed one prayer in Masjid. and then they sat there in masjid waiting for the next coming prayer so this whole time of him he is sitting there doing nothing for him that is considered like as he was praying constantly and continuously because fa inna lil mahsuri hukmul hasirin fa inna lil mahsuri hukmul hasirin so my dear respected brother in islam now the point is that ان عمار بيوت الله في بيوت اذن الله ان ترفع ويذكر فيها اسمه يسبح له فيها بالخضوع والاصال هو ويل دو ذس تسبيح سو ذا فاعل از ذا رجال هو رجال ذات هو ويل دو ذس تسبيح دي اند نايت ان مساجد سو الله سبحانه وانس اجين التصوير الفني في القران رجال ذا مان نوت لايك ذس What is this? A dead man. <laughs> no, Allah says, Rijalun, the men, they are men who are doing that. Rijalun. And now what is their quality? What is their identity? How you will identify them? Allah says, La tulzihim tijaradun, wa la bayakun hansikillah. Neither a business, nor any sale and purchase can award them from the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our Shaykh Ramadullahi Ali, he used to say that, our Shaykh. My Sheikh said that our Sheikh, Mujtahid fil Quran, Hazrat Maulana Hussain Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that Sheikh Hussain Ali Rahmatullahi Alaihi said that these Rijal are the Taliban of Quran and Sunnah, <laughs> because day and night they are sitting here in Masajid, and what they are doing? Zikr of Allah, Tasbih. What is Ghanim? Zikr of Allah. What is Ghanim? Zikr of Allah. They are doing it day and night. Rijalun, la tulhi himti jaratun, wala bayun an zikrillah, and then. He said that Sheikh made a joke. That Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Bada al-Islam wa qarima, wa sayyudu kama bada fatuba lil qurba wa kama qala alaihi salatu wa salam." When Islam appeared, bada or bada, bada be mana zahara and bada started. When Islam appeared, came for the first time. Bada al-Islam wa qarima. It was strange. Qarimi, strange, strange, a new concept. So it was strange. Was I out to come up with that? And a time is coming; it will become strange for people. That what this Buddha is talking about in this modern 
Tehra and murder. That's what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned. Was say Yahudu kama bada, but those who are committed to this deen, fatu bali al-Qurabah, congratulations to them. Fatu bali al-Qurabah, for strange people, those who have the, the strange deen and they are committed to it. Fatu bali al-Qurabah. So Shaykh Ramadullah said that Shaykh Ramadullah, Mawlana Hussain is Ramadullah, he said, that look at me. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that the Qurabah will have it. He said, but nowadays we say, we see that the rich people, they have left Islam because of masti. Mm -hmm. Because of what? Masti. Thrill. What? Thrill. They cannot hold themselves because they have the money, or they have the status, or they have the position, or they have the power. And Shaykh Ramadullah says, and the poor people, they left it because of masti. They cannot move. <laughs> Laziness. So then Shaykh said, Fatuba. <laughs> that congratulation for the students of Quran and Sunnah that they are hugging this deen and they are studying it day, day, day and night. So in the Umar Abu Yutillah, this is the actual Imara of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Holy Quran, in the Mayahur Masajid Allah, Man Amana Billah, Wal Yom Bil Akhir, say, Wa Akama Salah, Wa Ata Zakah, Wa Lam Yaksha Illah, Fa Asa Ulai Kan Yakunu Mil Mutali. This whole ayah is khabariya or insha'iyah? It's khabariya. What is it? It's khabariya. Innama ya'muru masajid Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, very dear indeed. The masajid of Allah, it's imara. It was supposed to say, innama yu'ammiru masajid Allah. When you are constructing, so in Arabic, or in Pashto, or in Urdu, or in Persian, that is called ta'amir. That process is called what? Ta'amir. Ta'amir Ta means abad karma. To construct. To build up. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not go to taf'il. He used the fa'li mujarrad amara ya'muru. Not amara ya'muru ta'amiran. But he used amara ya'muru. Why? So as I told you that every word will be thieves up. You have to go inside. To find out that what I was mentioning last night, Mario Zarsa. Last night I was mentioning that Qazi Abu Yusuf Ramatullah Ali. You know Qazi Abu Yusuf? Yes. And you know Imam Abu Hanifa? But nowadays you are looking for new Imams. So, anyhow, <laughs> because you are not satisfied with those. <laughs> with them you are not satisfied. Azam, who are you telling this to? <laughs> to you? <laughs> I just want to know the target. <laughs> <laughs> so now, the thing is, look at me. There, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna ma ya'muru masajid Allah. So Qazi Abu Yusuf rahmatullahi alayhi wa sallam. He asked Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi wa sallam, Mal ilm? What is ilm? What is ilm? So he said, Ma'rifatul nafsi wal ma'na wal mafhum. To know the word, the meaning, and the sense. To know the word, the, the meaning, the and the sense. So he asked him, what is Shaykh? What is Fiqh? Otherwise, then we say Fiqh is mean ilm and ilm is mean Fiqh or whatever. So he said, well, what is Fiqh? Ilm, I understood. Fahmul lafzi wal ma'ana wal mafhum. And what is Fiqh? So he said, Fahmu murad al mutakallim. Fahmu murad al mutakallim. Sentence has been said by the sayer, by the one who said it. You know the word, you know its meaning, you know the sense of the sentence. But that is not fiqh, that's knowledge. And fiqh is fahum muradil mutakallim. The one he said it, what he meant it. Going back to the same word, kia hai. Kia. Kia. Got it? If you will give the same and one sense to these three types of my uh, 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 sentences, so you are wrong. Mm -hmm. The first one, that's question. The second one, showing attitude. The third one, amazing. So, fahmu murad al mutakallim. Then Imam Abu Yusuf al for you, Shaykh Muhammad Basim. He asked him, that Imam, kefe siru rajulu. 
how a person will become a alim imam rahmatullah alayhi said bitaallumihi an al mashaikh wa bitadarrusihi an al kutub when he will be taking this deen from ulama is it taking from deen from ulama we are taking deen from sahifa yes. we are taking deen from books from Sheikh Google, <laughs> from Sheikh TikTok, <laughs> and from Sheikh Facebook, there are a lot of Mashaikhs, <laughs> non-living Mashaikhs, non-living entities. So if you are taking knowledge from non-living entities, that will be a dead knowledge. <laughs> and that thing, it smells bad. You have to throw it away. So Imam Rahmatullah says, بِتَعَلُّمِهِ عَلَى الْمَشَايِخِ Sometimes I do make joke that 90 plus percent, 95 percent, when the ulama, they are graduated from their madrasas. So right on that day, they take an oath by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala implicitly, not expressly, but implicitly. Take an oath by Allah that I will not do two things. Number one, the book which these ulama has given to me for all these seven, eight years, I will never touch it. <laughs> Because I became sick and tired of these books. Number one. And number two, the turban they have put on my head, I will never bring it close to my head. So I said that when a alim is not studying book, an alim, so he is empty from inside, hollow. And when he is not having this crown on his head, so he is empty from outside. So if somebody is empty from inside and outside, I don't know why we are ashamed. Don't take me wrong. You have to have your identity. You have to have yes. your, <coughs> me and the Tarjan. Now look, all these friends of mine, he is sitting there, he is sitting there, he is, he is sitting there, he is sitting there, they have returns. None of them is a graduate of Madrasa. Are they? They are not graduate of madrasa, but they are looking at me that he is turbanizing constantly and continuously. So this is respect. I am looking insulted to you, this turban or some, to some extent respect it. Maybe insulted. So anyhow, that's why you are not doing it. Got it? So look, I was listening to one clip, somebody showed it to me. That say if somebody said about your comments about turban like this. And he was a hadith alim. So he was saying that Sheikh Qadi said it, but yes, that was the dress of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was not using shilwar, he was using the taiban. The taiban, what you call it in English? There is no word for it, it's because the British people and the American people, they do not know the taiban. Right. So that's why they don't have word for that. You know the taiban. I mean, we can call it people. <coughs> <laughs> no, the kid. <laughs> of the bikini of the east. <laughs> so anyhow, now Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that that is the dress of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, why they're not it's not insisting upon. So I said, what can I say about that alim? How superficial approach of that alim is. When you are graduating, when you are graduating, graduating so they are taking up your silver and your, your <laughs> seven or what? Are they turbanizing your head? Yes. Say, yes. they are turbanizing your head. So I said that this is a mark of respect that is not considered a mark of respect. <laughs> <laughs> this will be looking good that tonight, today is Khatme Bukhari. <laughs> yes, and every graduate, he should pass by and take up his walk, and we are going to have a taban with a sunnah. <laughs> I say that I am talking about respect. That what is the symbol and sign of respect? That is a needed dress. Atawbu zaruri, awil libasu zaruri. This is libasu al-azzi wal kara. Is libasu? And not only in ulama, or in dini madaris, even in American universities and colleges and schools as well. They are turbanizing their students as well. But now turban, that's also an art. Not an art, a science. Because everybody does not know how to organize. You know what I'm saying? 
And especially when you are to urbanize with somebody else, that is too much difficult. You cannot urbanize yourself very easily if you are not uh, uh, experienced or expert. So now, the easy way for them is to have the the tassel thing. So that, that is actually a symbol of turban. So it means that turban is an insani symbol of respect, or a human symbol of respect all over the world, where there is tribal culture. Tribal head died. When they are making his son, the new tribal chief, what they are doing? The turban. So Imam Rahmatullahi Ali, Imam Rahmatullahi Ali, based on his philosophy, that's called as sunnatul Adila, or as sunnatul Muslim. So you will go back to Sunnatul Muslim. Shaykh Ahmad Basir, he was doing some time back, but then, then he disconnected himself from Muslim here. Yeah. Again, you will start. Yeah. Inshallah. So anyway, take it easy. Yeah. In light mode. So my dear respected brothers, look at me. So you built up this beautiful masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Allah. Those who said a good word of support regarding this masjid, may Allah bless him and his family. Those who have given a single dollar in this regard, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and his family as well. In a hadith narrated by Imam Bayhaqi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, and hadith is hadith Qudsi. I have written a book in this regard, and that's called al nafaqat al qudusiya al nafaqat al unsiya fil hadith al qudusiya And we had a course of that. Yeah? <coughs> we had a course of that. So when I was doing the, the course of uh, hadith Qudsiya, so at the same time I said, let's compile it. So I compiled a book. So there in intro, I have written that what is the distinction of Hadith Qudsi from a Nabawi Hadith? Even though Nabi said this one and Nabi said that one as well, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So there I mentioned that number one. The difference or distinction of Quran from Hadith Qudsi or Hadith Nabawi and the distinction of Hadith Qudsi from Hadith Nabawi so I mentioned here that Quran's word came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Because these are the word of Allah. But the word of Hadith may be Qudsi or may be Nabawi. Mm -hmm. For distinction I'm saying that. I titled it one Hadith Qudsi and the other Hadith, Hadith Nabawi. So the word I get from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the meaning and sense was given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was revealed to him. It was inspired to him. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave it the shape of his own words. Jawam al Kalim, and we call it a hadith. But then, the difference of hadith Qudsi or hadith Nabawi, our distinction is that Holy Quran, when you will recite it, you will get the reward. You will. Even though, if you do not understand, look at me, another fitna. So called uh, Sheikh Hugans here. They are giving khutbahs. In khutbah they say, we are reciting Quran and prayer and we do not understand what we say. Mm -hmm. What type of prayer that is? So now apparently it is looking very good approach. That is totally a wrong approach. You are cutting the Muslims from prayer. Because you are putting in their mind if you do not understand the meaning of Quran so your prayer is no prayer. That's number one. And number two, you are jahil as well. <laughs> you are jahil. jahil as well. So I say, as far as the case of knowledge is concerned. So the ulama usul al-fiqah in the very beginning, they say, فَإِنَّ وَبَعْضُ فَإِنَّ وَصُولَ الشَّرْعِ أَرْبَعَةُ الْكِتَابِ وَهُوَ إِسْمٌ لِلنَّزْمِ وَالْمَعَنَى جَمِيعًا Because they are talking for the purpose of knowledge. So they say, that the sources of Islamic law and Islamic Sharia are four. The first one is Kitabullah or the Holy Quran. So they say that what is Kitabullah? It means the wording and the meaning both. Mm -hmm. Why they included the meaning? Otherwise, all these masahib, where are those? You have not? The Qurans? Yes? Oh, in the main. Okay. So all these Qurans, not translated Quran. Only the text of Quran that is called Quran, or we will say that this is 50% Quran. Quran. This Quran, otherwise the meaning is not there. 
عند علماء اصول الفقه سے وہ اس کو لنگس اور معنی پہ بھی آنے سو ہی وڈ ہیو دا معنی یو ہیو ناٹ ریٹن ہیئر دا انگلش ٹرانسلیشن اور اردو ٹرانسلیشن اور اسٹ ٹرانسلیشن اور پرشین ٹرانسلیشن وٹ ایور سو اٹ مینس دیٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو دیٹ ڈیفینیشن اف دا علماء اصول الفقہ دس از 50% قران اور وی کین سی دس ان کمپلیٹ قران اف یو وڈ سی یو وڈ لوز یور ایمان اور دے ار ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی نالج for the purpose of knowledge is a source of law so they say is for linus for mana the mean because if you know the nazam and the text then you do not know the meaning can you reduce any rule there so say no. you cannot and i say that as far as the case of prayer is concerned allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say inna rabbaka ya'lamu annaka taqumu adna min thulusi al-layl wa nisfahu wa thulusihi wa ta'ifatun min alladhina ma'ak والله يقدر الليل والنهار عالما لن تحصوه عالما لن تحصوه فتاب عليكم فقرؤوا ما تيسر فقرؤوا ما تيسر من القران لا doesn't say فهموا ما تيسر من القران that for the purpose of prayer understand what you are reciting there for the purpose of prayer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says recite what is written for you and recitation is not for meaning recitation is for word so they say that it benefits i said of course Of course. So how? Because through these words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is just like the dialing of the number of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you dial the number of someone, you are getting in touch with Allah. Yes. Say, yes. in connection it with. Yes. Say, yes. otherwise when you dialed the number, so what goes there? The ring only. What? Ring. What is the meaning of ring? It does not have any meaning. Dun, 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 dun. And now you have different tones. <laughs> now you have different tones. But with this ring, 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 you got connected to the person precisely. Got it? When you recite the Holy Quran, you dial the number, you got connected to Allah. So far, got it or not it? Yes. 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 So my dear respected brother in Islam, you are tired. <laughs> my dear respected brother in Islam, So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَقْرُوا مَا تَيَسْتَرَ مِنَ الْقُرَانِ So referring to the hadith of Imam by Haqi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says but first the distinction between hadith of Qudsi and hadith of Nabi Both of them and the rules for both types is one and the same How a hadith is considered hadith When that is attributed to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through a narration chain accepted by the ulama of ummah accepted by ulama you cannot make your own chain because now what is another fitna and you learned that in this last uh, article you are reading my articles or not yes some of them that is not the case <laughs> <laughs> be studious yes kitabi kida ban jaye yes kitabi kida ban jaye be a worm of the book worm of the book don't eat it yes Yes, read it. So anyhow, in that article I have mentioned. Nowadays, another fitna. Oh, Sheikh so and so. He said this hadith is right. Nowadays, Sheikh so and so. In Arabs. Or some realize. He said this hadith is right. So there I mentioned in that article. Even though that was not the subject of that article. But as a support, I was mentioning it. that where from this sheikh so and so said that this hadith is zai he narrated the zulf of hadith from asla from hafiz ibn hajar from hafiz zahabi from ibn qudama from imam sayyuti from ali ibn al-madini from hafiz ibn hajar these are the asla who have been agreed upon by the ulama of the ummah that these are the critics. <coughs> That's why we say, وَصَحَّهُ إِبْنُ حَجَرِ وَصَحَّهُ الدَّارِمِ وَقَالَ أَبُوْ عِيسَى That's the only word which the ulama knows very well, وَقَالَ أَبُوْ عِيسَى وَقَالَ أَبُوْ عِيسَى That Imam Tirmizi says regarding this hadith. Because Imam Tirmizi is not living a hadith without saying something about that. He narrates a hadith and says, وَقَالَ أَبُوْ عِيسَى رحمه الله ليش وايد علماء سيس من كان في بيته كتاب الترمذي فكانما في بيته نبي يتكلم 
that whosoever the book of Imam Tirmizi in his house, so he should think about that, that life as the Prophet is there and he's speaking to him. That is the status of the book of Imam Tirmizi. Man kana fi betihi kitabul Imam al-Tirmizi, fa kana ma fi betihi nabiyyun yatakallam. Why? Because he narrates the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and then he mentioned the status of that hadith. And he mostly, he is not criticizing ambiguously. But he mentioned that. That in narration chain, this shaykh so and so, he is not of this status. He is not of this status. This status. Got it? Otherwise, mostly he say, Waqal Abu Isa has a hadith on Gharib. Waqal Abu Isa has a hadith on Hassan. Waqal Abu Isa has a hadith on Hassan and Sahih. And these are different terms which I mentioned in my book, they are derived from Rivaya. That what we can mean by these terms used by Imam Tirmizi. Because if you will go to Jumhur Muhaddisin, so there they will say, Hassan is a different type of hadith and Sahih is a different type. But Imam Tirmidhi, for one hadith, he said, Waqar Abu Isa is a hadith on Hassan and Sahih. Mm -hmm. So what he means? So we said that Abu Isa, rahimahullah, he has his own way of uh, mentioning the status of the hadith. So then I have given four answers there in that book of mine in the right of Riwayah. So anyhow, my dear respected brothers in Islam, Hadith Qudsi and Hadith Nabawi. So Hadith Nabawi, there are certain subjects there in a hadith in Babiya, but mostly the ahkam are there. But as far as the case of hadith Qudsi is concerned, so that is about Ma'rifatullah, about Zuhud and Taqwa, about Akhirah. Three things are these. To know and to recognize Allah, to know the Zuhud and the Taqwa, and to have the fear of Akhirah. Implicitly, sometimes you can deduce a root there from, but basically these are not for roots. These are not for ahkam. And the difference or distinction of hadith Qudsi from Quran is that Quran you can pray. Its alfaz are mu'ajiz. As far as the case of the alfaz and kalimat of hadith Qudsi is concerned, that is jawama ul kalim, but that is not mu'ajiz. Got it, not it? And you cannot pray with the alfaz and kalimat of hadith Qudsi. So the hadith I was referring to, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Allah says, إِنِّي لَأَهِمُ بِقَوْمٍ إِنِّي لَأَهِمُ بِقَوْمٍ That sometimes I do think of the qawm to get punished. Allah says, got it? And another word in there, إِنِّي لَأَهِمُ بِقَوْمٍ Got it? Sometimes I do a qasd. I do intention. This is with insist. Got it? With tashdeed, you have to have tashdeed. La ahimmu bi qawmin. I intend to punish a qawm. Summa ra'id. Ulmar abu yudillah. Wal mutahab bayni fiyah. Wal mustaghfirin bil ashaf. Sarat subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that they have arranged from their side every single reason, cause, and attraction for azar. They have gone to their ultimate end. And I was supposed to punish them. But I looked at those who are taking care of masajid. Are those who are building up masajid spiritually and physically. So I was referring to that in Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in ma ya'muru masajid Allah. He didn't say, in ma yu'ammiru masajid Allah. In ma yu'ammiru. So he said, in ma yu'ammiru. So what is imara? Imara ruhiya. Imara ruhiya. That building is there. If you have a beautiful... Another thing in America. Status. What? Status. Our center is that big. This facility. Everything under one roof. This is a term, like Christians. Everything under one roof. You say that music is there. Because the Christians are doing music under one roof as well. We are getting influenced by others. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, لَتَتَّبِعُنَّ السُّنَانَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ حَزْوَ النَّعْلِ بِالنَّعْلِ حَتَّى لَوْ دَخَلُوا جُحْرَ زَبِّنْ لَدَخَلْتُمُ 
A time is coming on you close to the day of judgment that you will follow the footsteps of others. You will follow the culture of others. To such an extent, like as your foot is similar to your shoe, or shoe is similar to your foot. Our husband, Nali bin Nawal, like as your one shoe is at number and the other one is at number as well. Very rarely you have seen that one guy, he has one shoe of right foot that is uh, uh, at number and the other one is 12. Mm -hmm. yeah? So something is wrong with the left foot then. Yeah? So Rasulullah says that your similarity apparently will be to others like that the similarity of one shoe of a person with the other shoe of the same person. Even though if they will enter into the hole of a lizard, you will try to enter there that may be new discoveries there. Mm -hmm. Because they have entered, so let me enter there. Because they have discovered some new thing there. So you will miss it if you will not go. Even though you will take your skin out by you, doing that, my dear respected brothers. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Summa nazad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I was to, but then I looked at those who are taking care of the masajid of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Masajid um amira, wa hiya kharabu al hamzikrillah. A time is coming, physically, structure-wise, their masajid will be well built. But as far as the zikr of Allah is concerned, so that will be just like destroyed or abundant. Abundant. So that is not a imara of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That imara will be cursing the people concerned. That what far you have built me here? So Allah says, Inna ma yamur masajid Allah. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in the Mayamur Masajid Allah man amana billah. He just doesn't say that in the Mayamur Masajid Allah man atabi bricks. Wabi steel. Wabi cement. Wabi kaza wa kaza. No, he says, in the Mayamur Masajid Allah man amana billah. Those who strongly believed in Allah. Wa amila salihan. Practiced righteous good deed. وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاءِ وَآتَ الزَّكَاءِ Those who establish the prayer, they are given the charity. وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ They do not have any fear but only of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for a moment, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a hadith, لَا يَجْتَمِعُ خَوْفَانِ فِي قَلْبِ مُؤْمِنِ Two fears will never get together in the heart of a moment. If somebody claims that I have the fear of Allah, he will not be having fear of anybody else or anything else. But if he has a fear of anybody else, so his claim is not accepted. Mm -hmm. That must be thrown out in the first page in the court. Mm -hmm. That this claim is baseless. Mm -hmm. This claim is baseless. baseless. Because if you are true that you fear Allah, why you are fear others? Why you are fear other things? Light them your hope on the people and women. And number two, another meaning, by Hafiz ibn Hajar rahmatullahi alayhi, la yaktamu khawfani fi qalbi al-moment. Two fears will never get together in the heart of a moment. So Imam ibn Hajar says, it means the khawf of dunya or khawf al-akhirah. If somebody has the fear of the life of this world, and he claims that I have the fear of akhirah, that is lying. And if somebody claims that I have the fear of akhirah, he will be never having any fear of this world. He is hungry. He does not have any dharat in his uh, pocket. He will not feel it. He will take it easy because life time will hope on a moment. So, my dear respected brother, Summa Nazar to Ila Ammar ibn Yudilla, Walam Yaksha illa Allah. That the person, he does not have the fear of anything else but only of Allah. Fa'asa, Ulaika, and Yakunu, Min al Mahtadi. Wa'asa, Walla Allah. Fillova, Lit Taraji, Walla Kin Huma, Min al Kirami. عسى ولعل في اللغة للترجي ولكن هما من الكرامة ستحقيق عسى إلا على يسمى maybe maybe is a very weak word but not in law in law that's very powerful because in law 
when they say may, when they say should, so there is no should, would, and could in law. You cannot find anywhere all over the world in the book of law, Azur Rahman studied law. Azur Rahman studied everything. Yes. You don't know. You will ask him. Yes, he will give you new sciences. So anyhow, in law, there is no use of should, would, and could. Because law is a solid thing. The only weird word in law is may. But they may is close to must. They may is they close to must. Little bit lower, but not may as usually we are using in English language. Got it? Or not? It? So asa and la Allah, its meaning is may. But that may is also like that of law. So that's what Ibn Abbas says we may look at the When the respectable guy, no, look, and that makes sense. If a person like me, a common layman, if I will say, oh yes, I will do it. So maybe I will not, because I am common layman. But if a respected person, a dignified personality like Mali Uzair and uh, Sheikh Ahmad Basir, if they will say, I will do it, so be sure, for sure they will do it. Because they honor their word. They honor their word. So that is certainty and that is surety. So Allah says, for sure they are the people who are the guiding people. Those who are taking care of spiritually building up for the massage. Got it? Yes. So you built it up. And then you started madrasa there. The students are there. They are memorizing the Holy Quran. The ayat which I have recited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, I will not. O mankind. O children of Adam. O oh, humans, for sure there has come to you. For for sure there has come to you. This ma'ayda, what form that is? That's masdar mimi. Wa'azaya izu wa'azan wa ma'ayda masdar mimi in the meaning of wa'az. And what is wa'az? So memorize the definition. What is Kalimatul khair fi deen li faidat is sami'a khalisatan li wajhillah. A good word regarding deen for the benefit of the addressee only for the sake of Allah. <coughs> if you said such a word, that is wa'az. Got it? If you are giving a talk of Quran and Sunnah, but you are thinking that, uh, yes, I am here as Rahman invited me. When I will be leaving, he will be giving $1,000. <laughs> so maybe you are thinking that is was, but that is not was. That's a business. That's a profession. Got it? That's a business. That's a profession. So kalimatul khairi fi deen lifaidat is sami'a khalistan li wajhillah. These are four contents. Number one, that must be a good kalima, a good word. And that good word must be regarding deen. If I am giving you a good word but regarding your business, that if you will do it like this, your business will move. Maybe with full sincerity, I am giving it to you for your own benefit, and that's a good word. But that's not regarding deen. You cannot call it was that he gave me a good was. This is not was. Kalimatul khair fi deen lefaidat is sami'a only for the sake of Allah, so that is what now here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called this Quran a was. That this is kalimatul khair. This regarding deen. Is regarding? Say, deen for your benefit. If the whole world will become a spy, says Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the victim of Nas ala atta kalbi rajul, ma zada zalika fi mulki lahi shi'a, wa la vijitta ma'u ala afjari kalbi rajul, ma naqasa zalika. Rasulullah says that people will get together and they will become as spies as Muhammad is. I'll give you the example. He did not mention his name. But who was the utmost spies personality in the creation of Allah? Rasulullah. So if the people will become all of them, 100%, now we are almost close to 8 billion people. 8 million people all over the world, they became as spies as Prophet Muhammad was. Rasulullah said, 
To that extent, you cannot increase in the kingship of Allah because he does not need it. So when he does not need it, how you can increase? And if they will get together and they will become as fajir, villain and wicked as Abu Jahl was, as Fir'aun and Namrud was, it cannot decrease or reduce anything from the kingship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man amila salihan fila nafsi wa man asa'a fa'alayha wa ma rabbuka. This Allah min lil abid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says whosoever did righteous good deed. That's for his own benefit. And who did bad fa'alayha. It will befall him. Wa ma rabbuka bis Allah min lil abid. Your Lord is not doing any injustice to anybody. God it is not it. So my dear respected brothers, in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, There has come to you a sincere advice from Allah. Allah is the ruler. He is the king. He is the Lord. He is the master. And master is giving order and he is giving nasiha. He is giving order. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If you will think, I am giving you the nasiha. Because that's for your own good. Why you are not thinking about that? Qadjaatu mawhida. You come from your Lord. And as you know that Rabb, what? Rabb, Rabb, Yarubb, Rabban, Warabba, Yurabbibu, Tarbiban. Got it? And the actual Master is Tarbiyat. So Rabb is the one who is giving Tarbiyat. Who is giving? Yurabbi Shay'an, Fayanmu Shay'an, Fashay'an, Hatta Yabloha Ila Aujir Kamal. That's what is tarbiyah, to nourish or to take care of a thing, gradually and slowly to take it to its peak. So Allah is Rabbi in such a sense, whatever he created in this regard for any purpose, so that creature of Allah is fulfilling its obligation or not? Yes. yes. Say, yes. only the human they are not doing it because they have the free will. But the whole world and every atom in this world does not have the free will. They have only Amrit Akwini. When that is Amrit Akwini, then he is doing his own job. And the cow, say, its own job. And the virus, its own job. And the bacteria, its own job. And the workworm in the gutter, that is doing its own job. The plant and the tree, they are doing their own job. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Na aradna al-amarata ala samawati wal ardi wal jibal. فَأَبَيْنَا يَحْمِلْنَهَا وَأَشْفَقْنَ مِنْهَا وَحَمَلَهَا الْإِنسَانِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ ظَلُوا مَنْ جَهُولَ إِنَّا عَرَضْنَا الْأَمَانَةَ What is amanat? Al-Wazayf al-Munasibah Yes, what is suitable for a cow? Suitable was he find responsibility? Got it? What is suitable for a donkey? The Lord, everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says We have given Munasib was I and responsibility to the heaven and to the earth and to the things therein and to the mountains. Imam Zajjaj says, Fabena and Yahunaha. Fabena? Say, and Yahunaha. So they denied to disobedience. So denial of disobedience is obedience practically. Because minus into minus plus. Yes, minus multiplied by minus. So for Abena, that is minus. And Kiana, that's minus. Minus multiplied by minus, that is plus. So for Abena, they obeyed it. And they are performing their duty. And the human, they are cheating. In everything we are cheating or not? Say, we are cheating. So Allah says, in no kind of if we are not going by the translation of Imam Zajjaj, the great Nahvi, so then we will be stuck there. That if we say that the heaven and the earth, they took the responsibility, they took it. Wahamal al insan, and the human took the responsibility as well. So now when you accept the responsibility, so you have to be adul and aluman, or you have to be the Roman Jehuda. You have to be adul and aluman that he is very just guy and he is very knowledgeable person. Yes, but Allah says in the kind of zaluman, he is a great zalim and a great jahil. Why? 
because the hamal is in the meaning of khiyana, min afal al azdad. Min afal al azdad. So, anyhow, my dear respected brothers, going back to that ayah, qadjaakum mawajatum min rabbikum, sincere advice. Wa shifa'ul lima fi sudur. You are going to clinic and to doctor and to specialist and to another doctor and for second opinion and things like that. Yes, and for very expensive hospital. You are going for shifa, you are going for treatment. You are going for treatment because nobody knows. Shifa is where? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So we are going for treatment. Sometimes Shifa happens and sometimes it does not. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you will accept this sincere advice of Holy Quran, you will practice accordingly. That's not a treatment, that's a Shifa. Healing for sure. And not only that. What type of doctor is considered the high quality of doctor? You don't know all these things. The heart specialist. Yeah. Who is given the utmost respect? Cardiology. As cardiologist. So Allah te wa shifa lima sudur. That is not a treatment of heart disease. This is a healing of heart disease. Wa shifa lima fi sudur. That's what I am telling you. You have to go inside every single word of Quran. That's why Allah said it. This is not a coincidence. Wa shifa lima wa hudan. And that's a perfect guidance. Because Tanmeen is for Kamal. Warahma, mm -hmm. and that's a mercy for the true believers. And then Allah says, Qul, say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qul, say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in my Surah Tafsir, I have written here that in certain ayat of Surah, Allah has started the ayah of the Surah with the word Qul. So the Quran from A to Z, from Alhamdulillah to Wannas, as a whole, that is Muballam or not? Or you will hide a part of that? Say, Every word is muballam that has been conveyed by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Yes, there is no ten Jews that somebody is hiding it somewhere in Kel. No, there is nothing like that. This is the whole Quran and the Holy Quran, which is from Alhamdul to Annas. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa conveyed it to the Ummah. And we, the Muslims, we are conveying that generation to generation. You memorized it, you memorized it, you memorized it, or you learned it, you are giving it now to the next generation. This generation, they will memorize it, they will be giving it to the next generation. So that is Muballam. But for the purpose of Zul Tafsir, we say that wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qul, Qul. So we call it Al Amrul Ialani fil Quran. To promulgate it publicly, to announce it publicly. So Allah says, Qul. Announce it publicly. Bifadlillah. By the fadl of Allah, with the fadl of Allah. Wa rahmatihi. And with the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fa bizalika fal yafrahu. You must rejoice it. This li yafrahu is amar balam. You must rejoice it. That you have the fadl and the rahmah. But what is fadl and rahmah? From what we cannot pick up the proper sense. So we are going to sahaba. To ask them. What does it mean? What is puzzle? Lot of puzzles and different types of puzzle are there. Different types of the Rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. When ta uddu na'mat allahi, la tuhsuha in the lisana. There's a room of kaffar. Allah says if you are going to count the powers of Allah, you cannot do it. Because Islam is very big zalim. Insan is very big zalim and big kafir. So my dear respected brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهُ بِرَحْمَتِهِ so we are going to a great mufassir from Tabi'i, the student of Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala, Imam Mujahid. Who? Imam Mujahid. So Imam Mujahid says, Fazlullah huwa al-Iman. Wa rahmatullah huwa al-Quran. Fazlullah huwa al-Iman. Wa rahmatullah huwa al-Quran. That with the fazl of Allah, that is Iman. Alhamdulillah, we are moment. Say Alhamdulillah. وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ And by the Rahmah of Allah, that is Quran. We believe in it. We recite it. We memorize it. We try to understand it. We try to practice it. وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِزَارِكَ فَلْيَبْرَحُ So we have to rejoice it. If somebody is a millionaire, somebody is? Or he is a billionaire. Yes? Or in one night he got billions of dollars in one way or the other jackpot. What? Jackpot. He got the jackpot. <laughs> but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if he rejoices, I will punish him. 
if somebody got the status and he will rejoice it, I will punish him. But Iman and Quran are two things Allah himself said, rejoice it. Oh, I am a moment, alhamdulillah. Oh, I am reciting Quran, alhamdulillah. Oh, I am a student of Quran, alhamdulillah. فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَهُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those who have bought this place and made it a masjid. And not only a masjid, but also a madrasa. And the students are there, they are memorized Quran. Or they are studying the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a markaz of ulum and a markaz of deen. وَصَلَّ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ لَا خَيْرِ خَلْقِينَ وَصَلَّ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ لَا خَيْرِ خَلْقِينَ